In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to exclude audiences from your Advantage Plus campaign and also see the breakdowns of those audiences and how they perform within your entire Meta account. So the first thing you need to do is actually get into your campaign manager. Once you get into here, go on the left side and click Advertiser Settings. In Advertiser Settings, go down to Audience Segments. So Facebook likes to trick us. This looks like it's a little tricky to actually find, but basically we just need to click on Audience Segments here within the Advertiser Settings. Once we're in here, you're gonna notice there's three things we can do. First off, on the very, very bottom, URL parameters, we could remove this. We don't need to do anything here. So for this video, it serves no purpose. First is our engaged audience. Within our engaged audience, we could actually set different audiences based on people who we think are engaged by our own definition, not by Facebook's definition. So technically speaking, you can put anything in here, but what we recommend putting in here are your site visitors over the last 30 to 90 days and any engagers on platforms like Facebook or Instagram. This is a unique case for this brand, but basically what you can do is click create a custom audience, select your website, click next, make sure your source is set up properly, and then you can change your event to whatever you would like. So generally speaking, I'd recommend all website visitors over the last 30 days and just name it accordingly. So if we go site visitors, 30 days. Once you do this, click the create audience button, takes a few seconds, audience is created, and it automatically gets ported into here. What this now can do is it actually allows us to see the performance of engaged audience and bid different on engaged audiences versus existing customers or new audiences, which I'm just gonna show you in a few seconds here. The next thing is the same exact process for existing customers. Now, it's really important that these do not overlap with our engaged audience. What we basically want from our existing customers is very simple. Anyone who's purchased all time. And how we're gonna do that is first by creating a new audience website. Next, we're gonna take the same source, we're gonna change the event, to the purchase event. And we're gonna go back as far as Facebook allows us, which is 180 days. So the audience retention is gonna be 180 days and we're gonna name this purchase 180. Same process, we're gonna click create an audience. Once you do that, the next piece, you need to port over your all time customer list from whatever CRM you're using. So if you're using Klaviyo, MailChimp, SendLane, whatever you're using, there's really, really smooth integrations these days to get those audiences over and have them update automatically for you. Once you do that, you'll actually see see that audience. So what we do on our side is we use the naming convention ads. So we just type in ads. And what I can see here is that there's a few customer lists. When it says customer list, that's indicating that it's actually coming from a different source. It's not coming from our website. And what we have here is our ad to cart, our site visitors and ads not suppressed all time. So what I just want here for our existing customers are all time purchasers. So get these data sources into your account. And once you're done, click confirm. It takes a few seconds to update in your entire ads manager. And then the next thing we need to do is verify that it's updating and actually show you how to exclude these at the campaign level. So all we've done so far is just set these audiences up. So now they're in our account, they're existing, they're living, they're breathing. The next thing we need to do is actually go into our Advantage Plus campaign. So click the edit button in your Advantage Plus campaign, scroll down. And what you're gonna notice is under the reporting section, you're going to have engaged audiences and existing customers. You cannot adjust these at the campaign level. These are all done at the advertiser level. Now on a fundamental level, nothing actually happens with these. So these will just run, they'll just run as normal, and we're just gonna gather a little data. These are basically observation. However, we can make one big adjustment, which is how you actually exclude your existing customers. And the way we do that is going down to the budget and schedule section, clicking existing customer budget cap, which by definition sets a maximum budget percentage that we will spend on existing customers. So we click this, and the easiest way to do this where you want no customers here is to just click zero. If you click 0%, Meta will aim to spend $0 and zero cents as you can read right here on your existing customers. My recommendation is to either go zero here or don't select it at all. Some brands like to get a little fancy. They put something like 30% in here or 20% in here. I would say the only time you're going to do that is if you're only running Advantage Plus campaigns or only running broad prospecting campaigns. If you have different campaign setups such as retargeting, tension, loyalty campaigns, etc., then generally speaking, zero or let it rip completely free. Now we're actually not done because once you actually set this, whether you set this to zero, 100, 20, doesn't matter. You could actually now see the breakdowns of your existing audiences and your engaged audiences and your new audiences in Meta. This used to only be an Advantage Plus feature, but as of a few months ago, they made some significant adjustments. I don't think people look at this enough. So if you're still listening here, this is a big point for you to gain on your competitors right now. And what you can do is go to the breakdown button right here and you could search for audience. You're gonna click audience segments. So by definition, you're viewing your 
data by new existing customers are defined by the custom audiences that we just set up at the advertiser level. This definition hasn't even been updated. That's how new this is. So as we can see here in our audience segments, once we select that, we can now actually see the spend that we have on our new audience, our existing customers, and our engaged audiences per campaign. And this is gonna be a huge insight to actually understand why certain campaigns are performing better or potentially worse than other campaigns. What often happens is your engaged audiences or your existing customers get too much spend. And then one campaign does super, super well, which makes you think that that campaign's better, but in reality, it's just hitting your existing customers or your engaged customers more or less. All right, and that is how we set up engaged, existing, and new customer audiences within our Facebook account in 2024. Now, just a heads up, you know this is just the icing on the cake. You know there's so much more involved here. So if you wanna see our full tutorial, our complete guide on how we set up all our Facebook accounts for the brands that we work with, click the link down in the description or one of the links that are floating up here, and I will see you guys in that video. See ya.